This video provides step-by-step -step instructions for the assembly of an Arrow of Light ceremonial arrow from awardarrowkits.com. Its detailed directions will save you time and make the assembly process easy. These arrows are officially licensed by the Boy Scouts of America. The first step in creating the arrow is to attach the arrowhead. You'll do this by using a 36-inch piece of sinew, the yellow string. Lay a beginning piece of the sinew through the notch and hold it with your thumb. Wrap around two times to secure that end. Take the arrowhead, place it in the notch, slide it all the way down, center it, hold it with one finger gently, then wrap the sinew through the notches in the arrowhead, going behind gently, coming back and crossing over. Take a look at it, line it up, and again, come around from the back, go through the notches. You're making an X on the front. This time, you're going to roll the shaft towards you, and now you can look at it from the back. Line it up again, go through the notches, cross over, repeat that again. Turn it, go through one time, cross and turn it, go through another time, cross and turn it. At this point, you're left with a tail of a few inches of sinew, and you'll tie that off by wrapping it around the shaft. Place your finger against the shaft, take the sinew around the back, creating a loop, remove your finger, feed the end of the sinew through that loop, and pull it tight. Repeat this, creating the loop, passing the sinew through the loop, and pulling it tight again. You'll do this one last time, pulling it tight, and that's the end of the wrapping. Simply use your scissors to cut off the tail. The next step is to apply the feathers. This is a kit for two arrows, so we have six feathers, three of each color. The first thing to do is to align them so that you have two of one color and one of the other color in each group. We'll move this over, it'll be for our second arrow, and these will be for our first arrow. We'll set them aside for a moment. Pick up the shaft with the arrowhead and take a close look. See if there's one side that you like better. We'll use this one. Lay the shaft down with that side of the arrow facing up. We'll start by putting on the single feather that does not have a matching feather of the same color. We do this by putting the fletching tape that looks red but is actually clear with a reddish backing onto the spine of the feather. Pull out some of the tape, lay it on the back of the feather. You'll notice that the feather is slightly bent. That's not a problem because we'll straighten the feathers when we put them on the arrow. Once you've got your tape on, grab your scissors and cut it to length. Pull the red backing off of the double stick tape and you now have a sticky side that you'll use to adhere the feather to the shaft. Again, you'll notice the curve. You'll straighten this out as you apply it to the arrow. So simply start at the back, press it down, continue moving forward, straightening as you go. And there you have it. Next thing we'll do is put on the other two feathers. To protect the first feather, just roll the shaft over and rest it on the sinew. And then the two feathers are placed on so that the shaft is divided in thirds. You might want to take a pencil and just put a little dot in each spot where you want to start. 
And with that, your feathers will be complete. Sometimes the red backing can be a little tricky to remove once the tape is attached to the feather. Another approach is to cut a 5 inch piece of tape and apply it to the shaft. Then remove the red backing and then place the feather on the tape starting at the front and working towards the back, straightening as you go. The next step is to apply the rank and achievement color bands. On the back of the leader's guide, you'll find a worksheet where you can list the names of each scout across the top and use the grid below to identify the ranks and achievements for each individual. The ranks and achievements are identified by color and letter. These letters match the letters on the color band sheet. You'll find that there are a few extra unused colors on the right side of the sheet. Leaders can use these as desired to provide additional recognition to individual scouts. Applying the color bands to the arrow is as simple as removing the desired color from the sheet and wrapping it around the shaft. Once one color is applied, move on to the next. That's all there is to it. Once completed, each scout will have a custom arrow reflecting their individual scouting career. Leaders may also want to present each of their scouts with a personalized Arrow of Light certificate. These free certificates list each of the ranks and achievements matching the colors on the ceremonial arrows. Leaders may download these free certificates from awardarrowkits.com. Simply enter your email address, the number of custom certificates desired, your pack number, and the names of each of your scouts. Click the download button and the certificates will immediately be delivered to your download folder. Print them on a color printer or send them off to your favorite photo printer to print a beautiful full color 8x10 certificate. Creating certificates is a free service of awardarrowkits.com and is available to any pack. If you'd like to present your scouts with ceremonial feathers, a plaque on which to hang their arrow, and perhaps even a personalized engraved nameplate for their plaque. All of these can be found at awardarrowkits.com. Congratulations to your scouts.